Steve. Terry, the more you see out of TJ Rivera, are you becoming more and more convinced that that skill set can play here? I don't think there's any question he can play here. Um, you know, his swing plays here. He's got bat speed. He's got some power. Uh, I truly believe in overachievers. I think he's one of those guys. So it plays here. You know, there, we've seen a lot of them. And, you know, we could sit down and, and name a lot of guys that nobody expected to get here. One of them just went in the Hall of Fame a little bit ago. So um, there, you know, there are those kind of guys that come in. They do the, th they do the play the game right way and uh, come through when you need them. And uh, he's one of them. Do you see any reason why he's been able to so quickly translate what he was doing at the minor league level to here, especially with, for the most part, until recently, relatively inconsistent playing? I just think he's, I just think he's got great confidence in what he can do, and that is put the barrel to the ball. Um, he's always done it. Everybody that's ever had him talks about it, and he's doing it here. You know, he's not really known as a strikeout guy. Any reason you saw today that he was able to strike out so many? You know, I'll tell you, to be honest, that's the first time we've seen him start. I don't have, obviously, he must have made some good pitches, must have worked the corners of the plate, got ahead in some guys. Um, you know, we had, Dan and I talked before the game. We said, listen, we'll give him, you know, two times through the lineup in his first start and see how he does. And God got us into the fifth inning. It was tremendous. Zach. Terry, you, you, you guys don't have four guys in the lineup. I guess Reed and Familia weren't available. Right. Um, Cespedes leaves the game. Yeah, he was sick. You know, yeah. A lot, a lot of kind of like a, a weird Sunday mixture, and you guys still win a game. Just what are your thoughts on that to win a game the way you had to you today? Know, Zach, I, I, we've addressed it before. You know, again, you know, you got to have a lot of you got to have guys that, you know, when they get the opportunity to come through. T.J. Rivera, as an example, uh, Conforto in the first inning. I mean, guys, hey, look, you got you know, somebody else has got to help when when it's your when you're on, when you called upon to. Uh, get your chance to get in the lineup, make the most of it. And tonight, those guys did that. I mean, we went to some guys in the bullpen, ask, a, ask them to do, be pitching a little different situations than they're accustomed to, and they, they did it. And I think it's, it kind of it's resemblance of what we asked last year at certain times of guys who, you know what, I, I, I feel this way. I think winning's contagious. I think losing's contagious. I think hitting's contagious. And, and when things are going good, guys want to be a part of it. And I think the focus is just a little bit better. Um, and the execution side's a little bit better, and I think that's what you saw today. Christy? Terry, just what happened with Cespedes? And he said, uh, Christy, in the, um, the inning before he took him out, he, he came up and said he just got sick uh, in a runway, and his legs were getting a little, weaky, a little weak. He was getting a little dizzy, so I took him out. Do you have any concern that this carries over to tomorrow? or? I do not. I do not. I don't. You know. I don't know why it happened. I certainly will take a look at. It. I just talked to him just a minute ago, and he said he feels a lot better. So I, I know our trainers dealt with it, but I don't know what reason why. Okay. You know, did he earn himself another start today? Or? Well, again, I, I think we got to wait to see when that start comes up, um, who it's against, and what our best options are. And certainly, we're hoping that maybe Stevens a part of that mix too. So we'll just wait and see. Tony, Terry talking about the you know guys who are subbing in. Conforto wasn't supposed to be one of those guys, so for him to come up in that spot in the first inning, I mean, what do you think it just meant for him to be able to have that and and come through in a spot which is very hard, I'm L sure. Right, Tony. I, I will tell you, of all the at bats today, that was probably the biggest one that this team had. This guy is a huge piece of you know this team and certainly of the future. We have got to get his confidence back. We've got to get his you know he obviously went down and hit the ball great in the minor leagues. But we got to get it back here because this guy was a huge piece of this team uh, in the World Series. So it, it, I think that was really the biggest at-bat we had. Rich. Terry, you talk about guys that have been through a lot and the opportunity arises. Josh Smoker kind of fits into that kind of mold. Can you talk about how you feel about him? And it seems like you're giving him more and more important positions in a game, and he could be a big part of the bullpen. He, he's going to be a big part of it because there are some, there are some matchups where – power stuff plays and, and he's and he's got that the thing I like about him rich he's not afraid he's not afraid of the situation he's not afraid of what he you know he knows himself hey look he realizes he's not a you know sinker baller or a cut fastball guy he's a power guy with a good split and a pretty good curveball and 
And the thing that I think that has made the difference is he's, he's been ahead in the counts. You know, he's, he's been strike one on a lot of guys you see. And so I think that makes a big difference. And uh, he's done, and really, he's another guy who's come up and said, hey, this is my chance. And he's made the most of it. Ken. Perry, uh, two questions. First of all, what made you let you know at that point in the fifth? Well, Kenny, I just, again, we had said before the game, this was going to be a game where we had kind of felt that between Enoa, Gil Martin, uh, Verrett, um, we we're going to go through the lineup twice. We we're going to give them a chance to go through the lineup twice and see how it went. All the data tells you the third time through the lineups when a lot of damage can be done. So when he got to Dozier and Dozier hit the double, I said, that's good. He got, he's done exactly what we've asked him to do. There's no sense of having him leave if, if for some reason Schaefer gets a hit and they tie the game up, he leaves with a bad taste in his mouth. So I, we, we took him out. And second of all, at this time of year, how much do you look at the quality of your play versus the results? And, and do you worry less about the quality of play at this time of year to survive in advance, go on to the next step? That's exactly right. The only thing that co counts is that W at the end of the game. How you get it does not matter. We just need, we, that's when you got to get them. Ron? John? Terry, just on Conforto, does his day-to-day -day make it any tougher for you as far as making lineups out the next, you know, you talked about Bruce last week giving him a chance. To, does Conforto now enter the picture at all? You know, Johnny does because he needs to be. I mean, this guy was a big part, but I think today helped him for sure. Um, you know, Daz has done a nice job filling in. I talked to Jay today and trying to get him peace of mind a little bit to get him to relax a little bit. So uh, moving forward, I think we've got to consider all the pieces we have. For sure. Tony? Just I know he only had a couple at bats, but how did Lucas look to you? Uh, like he hasn't played in four months. And, and I asked him during the game, and he said, you know, and I tell you, one of the things that these kind of experiences pay off in the long run, it, you know, you take it for granted because you go through spring training, you start the season, and then when you miss a lot of time, you come back and you really find out how hard the game is here. And that's kind of what Lucas said on, told me on the bench. I said, how you doing? He said, the game's pretty fast up here. I said, yes, it is. And I said, look, if they bring in a lefty, I'll hit for you. And he said, you know, I got no problem with that. So he, but it was, I, I was glad we got him in there. We're going to look for another opportunity. Roger. Terry, you were talking about Rivera and how you believe in long shots and that he belongs here. Some guys belong here but are not everyday players. Do you think that Rivera has the package, including defense, to be an everyday player? Roger, that's a tough that's a tough thing to answer because until you go through the league a couple times and those reports start getting out how to be pitched and how to be played and all those things, um, and the, if you have the ability to make adjustments, that's when that's when you really find out if you can be an everyday guy after you've been around for a while. So um, we're going to just take advantage of the fact that nobody knows TJ real well yet and. See if we can let him keep getting some hits. Last one, Steve. Terry, obviously you weren't going to use familiar today under any circumstances. Right. Did you sweat out that last at bat a little bit? Well, I told Dan to go out to the mound. I said, listen, if we walk this guy, I don't care. But this guy cannot get anything good to hit. So um, Dan went out, as he always does. He had a game plan. And if there was one guy who can execute, it's Jerry. And he executed to perfection. But... Uh, Brian wasn't going to get anything on the plate to hit, nothing. So you pitched to him without really pitching to him? <laughs> I'm sorry? You pitched to him without really pitching to him? Correct. We tried to. And, you know, going to let him tie up. the game up? He was not going to tie the game up, no. 